Well, hello there, Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel, Victoria here, Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your July 2023 money and career reading. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm always grateful for every single one of you. Let's get right into it and see what we've got for you guys in your month ahead. Hmm, okay. We have the Deceit card coming out. However, it is in the reverse. So that is a really good omen uh, that's there for you guys, okay? This is where certain things that have been a little sketchy are getting resolved, okay? Um, if you've been feeling as though that you've been duped in some way or that there's been, you know, certain things that have maybe being glossed over and haven't been presented in the proper way to you probably by a person okay or maybe even by a company okay then this is you coming out of that okay so you're resolving issues and you're moving forward okay maybe you clear up some misunderstandings because sometimes the deceit card when it comes out can represent some misunderstandings in your world here as well but the deceit card could be you walking away from situations that are just not trustworthy, okay, or people leaving. Ah, okay, so if you've had one of those coworkers or those bosses or something that you just can't trust and uh, they just create all sorts of animosity all over the place, they might be flying the coop there as well. But this is also coming out of um, an element of self-deceit, okay? kidding yourself about something, lying to yourself, trying to convince yourself something that's other than what it is. So for example, we can get stuck in situations and we can talk ourselves out of making any moves because we can sit there and say, oh, you know what? It's just temporary. I think it'll pass. I'm pretty sure I can work through this. And you know, in reality, uh-uh, it ain't gonna change. So you have to, right? So sometimes we can sweep things under the rug as well, right? If you're having money issues, part of the self-realization and part of being honest with yourself is to really have a long, hard look at your finances. Um, what are your spending habits? Are they good or are they not so good? Are there bills that you're ignoring, right? Is there patterns that you're ignoring in the deceit energy in the reverse? You're coming, you're recognizing these things and you're being really honest with yourself. And this can really put you into better balance and better alignment with the angel of balance coming in here. This is you balancing your, balancing your checkbook, balancing your spending habits against your income. This is you putting a budget in place, that kind of thing. This is you finding more balance and harmony in your workplace, okay? Or this is you looking at opportunities that bring more balance into your life, okay? And for example, like a um, financial opportunity, like an investment opportunity, maybe for you the time has passed where you're willing to take risks. And with the balance energy, you're maybe looking for something that has maybe a little bit of moderate risk with your money, but you also want to make sure that you've got that balanced out with some solid, stable stuff too, right? Um, and, you know, whereas maybe previously you had gone all in one way or the other, a little bit too safe or a little bit too risky. So maybe now there's this middle ground that you can find there. Um, the angel of balance can help you find balance between your work life and your home life. Right, And sometimes we do get in the energy where we've got to work maybe more than one job or we've got to work extra hours or we find ourselves in a career path or in a, you know, working for a company where we're giving everything and we're not getting back anything in return. So this can be where you're making some very important decisions in your life. And part of that may have to do with personal relationships. The angel of love is here. Now the angels, the, the, when the angels show up in your reading, number one, this is a blessing, a big one. You're being guided, you're being protected every step of the way. Okay, pay attention to all of your signs and your symbols that you're seeing, repeating numbers, uh, shapes in the clouds, songs on the radio, whatever, however your, your messages from above come to you. Okay, because this can be bringing you opportunities that you love, people that care about you on your path in your journey, um, opportunities that give more balance and harmony in your life, right? All of these things. So pay attention because they are blessing you. They're guiding you and they're protecting you, which is great. But the angel of love can represent um, the restoration of 
happiness and joy and fulfillment in your world. Okay, um, this can be you finding that dream job. This can be you just, you know, feeling better about situations as well, feeling as though things are coming into alignment. But for some of you here with the angel of love, there is something in your personal life that is influencing your money in some way. Now, this can be that you have a relationship that's maybe entering a higher level of commitment. Maybe you're getting engaged. Maybe you're moving in with somebody. Maybe you're getting married. Maybe you're adding to your family, right? All of those kind of things can very much impact what you're willing to put up with when you're making your money, spending your money, or for your career path, right? So this can shift your priorities around in a big way. Um, if you are moving in with someone or getting married or something like that, this can actually be a big sigh of relief for you um, in regards to your finances, right? Because of course, if you have two people paying the bills on one household, right, the stress, the pressure and the burdens are relieved in that. You could have an angel that swoops in and helps you out, helps you out as well. That angel can come in the form of a person. Maybe someone just shows up in the right place at the right time to help you, um, you know, to find a better job or to help you with money in some way. Um, it can be someone you know, or maybe it's someone that you don't know. You could just find yourself in the right place at the right time, because whenever we have the angel spirits that are all around you, pretty much anything magical can happen. So it's really nice. And we've got the King of Pentacles right in the heart of your reading. That's what we want to see. I'm going to pull all your cards, by the way. We've got the Knight of Cups crossing, the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Uh, the Two of Swords in reverse. I have to look at that one for a second. The Eight of Swords in reverse. The Three of Wands. If you've been feeling blocked or stuck or you've been feeling like things are stagnant, at all right maybe you've been feeling just stuck in a rut or you've been finding yourself in places where you can't be yourself the deceit energy right where you can't be authentic and true to who you really are you can't let that inner spark shine necessarily maybe someone's trying to dull your shine all right this is a time when you're breaking free out of that Okay, you're breaking free out of indecision, you're breaking free out of imbalance, you're breaking free out of any self-imposed restrictions, as we already said with the deceit card coming in there. And so we've got some repeating messages and some confirmations that are there for you. Okay, I feel like some of you are waiting for something or you're just trying to figure something out, okay? Because um, we do have the King of Pentacles right in the heart of your reading. So your focus very much is right here on point with your money, your career, your home, okay, um, how committed you are, maybe, um, you know, are you getting paid what you're worth, right? Because when we have the king of pentacles, you've got a lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge, a lot of experience. Um, and this is, you're, you're dedicated, right, in this energy, um, you know, and the thing is, is that if you're not getting paid that, or if you maybe come into a situation where you've gone as far as you can go and you've made money and you've got a certain level of stability and security in your world, but with the Knight of Cups crossing you, maybe you're looking for something a little bit more fulfilling in your world, okay? Whatever your situation is, whether you're on the quest for something or whether you're just looking for something a little bit different, there is success at hand. The kings are always successful. The kings take the lead. They take charge. They have a sense of purpose. They know how to m bring things together and they know how to get what they want. The king of pentacles is very abundant and prosperous. All right. So, and also brings in this very, um, stable life for the long term right here. This, so if that's your goal, then Hey, your goal is within reach. Okay. Or you are putting a plan together to figure out what your steps should be on your journey. The King of Pentacles can be a person that is um, here in your life or that is coming in very shortly that can help you on your journey. They may have a job for you. They may have an investment opportunity for you. It could be one of these angels that swoops out of the sky. Oh, okay. Some of you have an inheritance coming. Thank you. 
Some of us, uh, some of you have, might have an inheritance coming. Now, hopefully it's a living inheritance. Those are always easier to deal with. Um, this can be something, maybe uh, a family member gifts you something because you do have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles is quite often associated with, you know, generations and home and family and all of that, but it can bring in um, inheritances. All right, so maybe some of you are inheriting something, going into the family business maybe, or there is something gifted to you, even if it's just a loan. Um, maybe someone like just simply steps in and co-signs a loan for you or something like that, right? That can um, that can be really beneficial for you or they've come in with some, uh, you know, cold hard cash for you, right? So there may be some incoming money that does come from family somewhere around them, um, around you, whether it's immediate family or distant family, right? It could just be something that comes in there. Someone swoops in and right place at the right time, right? Um, so the King of Pentacles can be a very positive influence in your life. But if this is a goal and aspiration, I feel like here with the Knight of Cups that for some of you here, you're just kind of waiting. Um, maybe you're waiting for some news to come in. There might be something that you've already got the ball rolling on and you're waiting for that door. You're waiting for that right opportunity. Or you're looking for something special. You're looking for something where you can use your creativity, um, where you can have a little bit of fun and enjoy what you do for a living. Um, you know, it's one thing to make money, but you got to kind of like what you do sometimes too, um, because otherwise you kind of get in this little vortex, right? And it's kind of like you're dying inside a little bit one day at a time. So you might be looking for that perfect opportunity, that perfect moment, that perfect position, the perfect company. You might already know with the Knight of Cups crossing exactly what it is. Now, when the card's crossing you, it's representing a little bit of a challenge or a delay, okay? It's not the same as it being in the reverse, okay? So there's something out there, whether you just haven't found it yet or whether you're playing a waiting game, right? There's something here that you might need to make a decision on, okay? And it's it's right here within reach, either your next steps or that great positive news coming in, all right? Some of you might have been um, a little bit undecided about things lately. You're a little bit flip-floppy on things, or maybe you've just been feeling like this isn't the right time. Timing, of course, is everything sometimes. Um, it's just a, a little bit of uh, caution, and you may have already been going through this, is that sometimes we wait for the perfect moment, the perfect time, the perfect opportunity. And there's a certain beauty in imperfection. And sometimes if we're waiting for 100% perfect, we end up in the procrastination kind of energy because in reality, there's nothing really 100% perfect. I mean, it'd be nice if there was, right? But that would be boring. So it's not usually how life goes, is it, right? So we have to sometimes look at the potential and the possibilities of things that come across our path so that we can see where can this take me, right? What are my um, options later on down the line? Is this something dead end or is this something that gives me opportunity for growth, right? Is this gonna be like, you know, the final, the countdown thing? Or, you know, is there maybe something a little bit more in alignment with me, but that maybe requires me to take a step back a little bit. Because if you want the king and you're presented with a knight, that might not feel like what it is you're looking for, but because the knight of cups has to, brings in this element of fulfillment and happiness and joy and a little bit of freedom even, um, sometimes we do need to take a step back to propel ourselves forward. So look at the potential and the possibilities of opportunities as they, um, you know, as you find them, as you discover them, or as they come to you, um, because sometimes that one step back can really accelerate us into our future, right? Um, and, you know, sometimes it feels just that way in life, right? It's like, I feel like I've taken three steps backwards and one step forwards, but sometimes we need to do that to kind of align myself. You ever seen someone try to parallel park, right? Same kind of thing. Sometimes we're backing up, but then we need to go like this and then we need to go like this, right? So just to get ourselves in alignment and sometimes that's what's necessary in our lives. But I do feel like there's some awesome opportunities opening up for you or you are more open to opportunities here, but it might be a little bit of a waiting game and there might even be a surprise. Okay, that's there for you, especially if you do have some seeming angel that's coming in and helping you out or just giving you that lucky break that you've been looking for. It can be really quite magical for you. 
but you may be uh, with the two of swords that's beneath you. Okay, this is in your subconscious, right? It's in your feelings, all right? Um, with the two of swords in reverse, you could be, there's a few different ways that this could play out, okay? You could be very certain that now is the time for you. You're very decisive in this energy and you're trusting yourself to make the right choices, to make the right decisions. But we can also be a little stuck sometimes in the two of swords, right? Um, doubting yourself and not trusting your intuition, that kind of thing. Sometimes the two of swords in the upright is where we're balanced and the two of swords in reverse, we're feeling out of alignment here as well. And there's that angel of balance coming in there for you. Um, this can also be in the two of swords in the upright. We're normally a little bit closed off, right? Arms crossed uh, across the front of us. And now here in this one, we're like released. So if you've been unwilling and unmoving and unbendable, okay, in some way, you've been a little bit closed off. Now you're a little bit more open. All right, but certainly there's some decisions and some choices that you are making or that you've been trying to make. And I feel like you're ready to move forward. All right, we do have the Eight of Swords that's here as well. Now, this is coming in from your previous month or even a little bit before. And you see in the, I'll show it to you in the upright there, you see we've got this butterfly, beautiful butterfly, right? Beautiful golden butterfly, but tangled in a cobweb, right? Eight of Swords, self-imposed restriction. It's where we're trapped in fear or worry or anxiety. It's where we can't quite see our way forward, right? Or where we've convinced ourselves that there's no way out. But with the Eight of Swords in reverse, I feel like here that you are very much getting control of things. You're very much um, ready to release yourself from a period of stagnation or fear or doubts. And you're believing in yourself a little bit more and you're ready to move forward. Sometimes we do purposely take a pause for the cause. Um, sometimes the pause for the cause takes a little bit longer than what we thought, right? Um, so this is, you have the capability here of making the right choices, making the right decisions and moving in the right direction for you, okay? Um, this can be you with the King of Pentacles in the upright. Um, again, if you have been in a situation where maybe it hasn't been fulfilling for you, this can be you are willing to break out of um, a job or a career path where maybe it's been financially rewarding but not fulfilling for you. And now you're ready to let go of that, okay, to find something that's more in tune with who you are and what you want to do. And sometimes we do, we are in the jobs for, I mean, let's face it, the whole point of working is to make money, right? So <laughs> nothing's more annoying when you get an employer going, and what do you want out of this position? A paycheck, thank you very much, right? And you know, it's hard not to be a little sarcastic when they ask you stuff like that, right? And it's like, I'm gonna dedicate my life to you. No, I'm not, okay? So you might be very willing to give up a little bit of a paycheck to find more happiness and joy in your daily life. So you're releasing yourself Okay, from something that's been keeping you there. Um, I done, I've done that in my life. I've had a very well-paying job, and I mean very well-paying, but I also had to sell my soul for that paycheck, though. And I finally came to the realization I was kind of stuck there, right? I'm like, well, shit, the money's good, right? Um, and money was really good. But the thing is, I was slowly dying inside, one slow death every single day, and I was stuck in that. And believe me, it takes a lot of courage to break away from that and to give up that paycheck. But in the end, I'm much happier, more fulfilled, not as much money, but I'm good with that. That's okay, right? Because that's not necessarily everything. Money makes things easier. It can, but sometimes depending on what we need to do to make that money, we sometimes need to make sacrifices along the way. So, uh, so you know, you could be breaking out of that kind of cycle. But we do have the Ten of Pentacles that's here as well. And the Ten of Pentacles is your crowning position. This is your goals, your thoughts, your possibilities. So again, this is where we get abundance and success, right? So some of you, I think, are waiting for a conclusion because the Tens are endings. We're waiting for something that's hopefully going to make us very happy. We're hoping, waiting for some good news or hoping for some good news um, in regards to some opportunity that you may have already found. Now, this could be about a home. 
right? The Ten of Pentacles, very much home, happy home, happy family, stability, security, all in your material world, right? Also speaks to generations, but it can speak to your actual home that you live in. So perhaps some of you here are getting some good news that does affect your home in some way. Maybe this is, um, you know, the loan officer, Mr. King of Pentacles, um, that is coming back with a yes, Knight of Cups, right? And says, yes, here you go. Sign your life away. Here's your mortgage. But it gives you a little bit of, of security there in that because you're not renting anymore or maybe it's in a better location a you know nicer abode that kind of thing um, something where you can spread your elbows a little bit all right um, you might have that okay um, this can also speak to things coming to fruition for you on many levels especially of course your money so perhaps you are um, you have been sacrificing certain things in your life so that you can save up right for um, you know for a house or to move to a better location that kind of thing but the ten of Pentacles does speak to your goal you want to be stable you want to have that abundance in your life um, you want to have that happy home, that happy family, right? And so again, in some way, I think for some of you, your home life, your personal relationships, you've got Knight of Cups, right? It's so a Knight of Cups proposal, okay? Um, I think some of you, your home life is um, going to impact your financial situation for the better, by the looks of it, okay? Um, you know, sharing your home with somebody else and thus sharing the bills, but yes, inheritances. So considering this is in your crowning position with the Ten of Pentacles, this is what you know, right? What you know, what you're thinking about, you're thinking of the possibilities, this is what could happen, you know, that kind of thing. So you could get some help from a family member somewhere. You could be doing something like going into the family business or maybe recruiting family members to help with your business. Um, and this can be where you do get this angel, seemingly angel that swoops in and um, helps you out in some way, however that happens to be. Whether it's some money, that inheritance, co-signing a loan, giving you a loan, whatever it happens to be. Maybe you inherit a house, right? Maybe you know that this is coming and you're just waiting for it a little bit. So this could be where that, um, where that shift comes in, all right? Um, but very wonderful, wonderful energy to have in your crowning position. You're thinking big, you're dreaming big in that energy. We've got the three of wands and the three of wands shows that you've got a plan in place and you're moving forward, you're ready to move forward and uh, the path forward is clear. So where do you wanna go? What do you wanna do? What are your next steps on your journey? Okay, all of this, all of the restrictions, the blocks, boom, out the window. All right, you're ready and you're prepared. Now in the three of wands energy, you might just be waiting for the right opportunity or you're keeping your eyes and ears peeled for something that's, ooh, that looks interesting. Okay, and then you're ready to make a move. Okay, you're not just gonna sit there. You're not just gonna spin your wheels. Okay, you're not gonna go round and round in circles. You're gonna be a little bit more decisive and take that next step. This can be exciting adventures. This can be movement as well, right? So the three of wands can represent travel. So some of you are maybe going on a trip. Maybe you've got a family vacation planned or something. And considering if you've been working really hard, working your fingers to the bone, uh, you probably need this vacation, um, you know, a lot. Okay. And this will really be beneficial for you. Will it cost you money? Yeah, probably but it will be good for your soul. Knight of Cups, be good for your soul. Connect with yourself again, all right? But the three of, of three of Wands shows that there is possibilities opening up for you, doors opening up for you, and there is forward movement in a good direction, what you want. We've got the Strength card coming in here for you, and this is your advice from Spirit. It's also you and your current attitude. The Strength card is giving you that inner strength and that courage. Maybe you're diving deep Okay, and getting the courage to make change, um, to speak up for yourself, to ask for what you want, whatever that happens to be for you. Spirit says here, you are strong, you are powerful, you are courageous, you are brave. You have the ability to power through anything. You have the ability to weather some change. You have the ability to follow and find your dreams and your path to success. All of the abundance in the universe is yours and it's your time to shine and your time to take it. But remember, sometimes we have to be patient and sometimes we need to be a little bit discerning. We need to know and recognize 
when to come out roaring like a lion and when to take a calm, peaceful approach at things. Okay, and sometimes we need to be a little bit more aggressive for what we want, and then sometimes we have to sit back and allow. And the um, the strength card and that advice from spirit reminds you of that and kind of puts you back in center with that, okay? So, you know, we know when to do, when to not do, and we know when to be a little bit more kind and compassionate. But spirit also is wanting you to be kind and compassionate to yourself as well and give yourself a pat on the back. Anything is possible now, okay? Um, and sometimes we just need to take things one day at a time. We will get to where we want to get to, all right? Your external environment, your queen of pentacles. I like this. I love this, actually. Your queen of pentacles is somebody external from you in the upright is very beneficial in your world. Now, we've got the king of pentacles in the heart of your reading, and we've got the queen of pentacles here symbiotic partnership. So this can be your potential to partner up with the right people, the right companies, the right job, and boom, it's here for you. Okay. This can also represent that personal um, relationship that you've got going on, right? Where maybe you're about to commit higher to the love of your life, right? You're about to move in together, start a family, or, you know, just blend your resources, right? And this can really alleviate a little bit of pressure on you. The Queen of Pentacles is somebody um, as a person who would be very caring, very nurturing, very kind, very patient, but also very prosperous abundance, someone who is very focused on home and family, that kind of thing, someone who is just has a lot to give, they're very generous. The King of Pentacles, also very generous kind of energy. So again, gifts may be flowing to you, um, opportunities opening up, and again, someone may be helping you here. But I do feel that you have the ability and the opportunities, the doors opening up for you, the potential to find the right thing, the right investment, the right house, the right company, you name it, okay, because we do have soulmate kind of energy that's coming in here with the king and queen of pentacles and we can find soulmates in many ways and many things it doesn't have to be romantic okay but that soulmate can be that when things are aligning for you right place right time a little bit of luck is there for you all right so it's a very positive influence with that queen of pentacles this is also the energy that's around you right now it doesn't have to be a person you're surrounded by abundance and prosperity you are surrounded by stability and security a lot of things blossoming in your material world right now for the better relationships getting on track um finding your bliss, getting more balance, the king and queen of pentacles, balance, 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 right? Um, and you have the ability to find that or restore that in the month ahead. So it's a wonderful energy um, that's coming in there. And especially that queen of pentacles, because this could be just like, again, someone just may have something for you that is just totally irresistible and just what you need. Let's get a couple more cards for that. Thank you. Justice, Ace of Wands, and the Emperor. Wow. Okay. Ooh, that's heavy hitting energy right there. Okay. So the Justice card, some good karma. Okay. Good karma headed your way. That is for sure. But the Justice card is Libra and energy, speaking honesty and truth. Legal situations and contracts um, are all at play here. So perhaps someone does Queen of Pentacles, right? Queen of Pentacles brings you a job offer, a contract to sign. King of Pentacles or Queen of Pentacles can be that decision maker who, um, you know, is your loan officer or your financial advisor or your mortgage broker. Um, you know, it can be your new boss. Okay. That kind of thing. And so the justice card can bring you a resolution to legal situations and things you've been waiting for. This can bring you, um, job offers and contracts. This can represent loans, um, and leases, all of those kind of things. Think about any kind of legal documentation where you need to sign your name on the bottom line and you are obligated, legally obligated to something. Um, so, or something is again, getting resolved. So in a positive way though, with the justice card it is in the upright. So everything's on the up and up, just make sure always a good word to the wise, whenever you do get 
any kind of legal documentation at all, always read the fine print, the legal mumbo jumbo that's uh, usually hidden somewhere where you can't see it. Um, ask for some advice. We've got an emperor here. Ask for some advice if you need it. Get a second opinion if you need it, that kind of thing. But the justice card brings some clarity and it brings some really positive decisions and wise choices to the mix there for you as well. But maybe there is somebody that can help you um, in that regard, help you make a decision or advise you in some way. We do have the Ace of Wands quite often, a new job opportunity or a new opportunity uh, of any kind that's manifesting in your world. The Ace of Wands is a gift from spirit and we do have some good karma coming in with the Justice card. Okay, so you're getting your just rewards, decisions in your favor, and you might just be getting that new opportunity um, or some sort of gift that is coming into your world here okay whether it's a door opening or something very much manifesting into your reality it's exciting whatever it happens to be so dreams passion energy um this is initiative as well so taking initiative right when if the three of wands right we know what we want we've got a plan we're feeling inspired we're ready to move forward and boom here is that opportunity for you to grab seize the moment seize the seize the day and move forward with that all right, the aces are usually a result of manifestation and again, gifts. So we might have something there for you. But the emperor card now is so interesting that we have the 10 of pentacles. We've got gifts here. We've got the angel of love coming in. Um, we've got the king and queen of pentacles. And the emperor often is like the patriarch or the head of a household or something, or even the head of a business, right? But I'm really looking at the inheritance thing and the gifts and the family member kind of thing. And the three of wands can represent like some faraway lands, right? It's travel. Okay. And so with the emperor, you might actually get a gift, right? Emperor, head, hold, head of a household person, a gift, and a legal situation. Okay. So you could be getting that inheritance. Um, chances are you already know about it. It's probably, there's no, that's not really a surprising energy necessarily. The Ace of Wands can be a little bit of a surprise, um, but otherwise it's all kind of very um, down to earth. Um, so you might already know what this is. So you might have like a distant relative that passes on or already has um, even someone a little bit closer to you. And yeah, you might be wrapping up reading the will, that kind of thing. And you might just inherit something there. Um, inheritance is always are a little bit of a double-edged sword okay um, of course because we get a gift we get something we should be really happy but of course you know in some cases somebody has to pass over in order for us to get it um, and that you know a little bit a little bit of a sharp pang there right hopefully for you it is a living inheritance right and maybe someone just comes in um, at the right place at the right time and you just get a gift because a living inheritance is a little bit more common these days, um, you know, only because, you know, if someone's kind of secure in their own right there, then, um, you know, people want to see people enjoy what they're giving them. So sometimes a lot of people do that instead. But the emperor can be a new business, a business person, a boss, okay, a new boss that comes in there. It can be someone in a position of authority who makes some decision, right, that impacts you in a very positive way um, in this, okay? So this can also be your opportunity here for you um, to maybe start your own business, be your own boss. You could be doing that as well. The emperor is the big boss guy, right? Um, but this does bring in an element of taking charge, taking authority, um, having a plan and seeing that plan play out right in a very positive way is an energy of success stability and security in all kinds of things so whether this is people that are that are coming into your life new people by the way okay or whether this is you just taking charge in this energy it's very impactful and very beneficial for you okay certainly putting you back on track or where things are things are coming together your hopes and your fears the six of pentacles well you're very hopeful that you're going to get rewarded for whatever it is you do the Six of Pentacles is quite often where we get money, where we get gifts. Jeez. Okay, so some of you know you're getting something, all right? Um, you're kind of hoping that you're going to get a gift, but maybe there's that little bit of fear there too, because especially if it's an inheritance, it's like, is it wrong to hope that I get 
something in the will, right? And you can maybe feel a little bit bad about that. Um, it's part of being human. It's okay, right? Things are going to be what they're going to be. Um, but the six of pentacles, I feel that, um, that you are very hopeful that you're going to get something flowing back to you, that you're going to get rewarded for something, um, a bonus, a raise, a new job, um, a financial decision, right? The six of pentacles is where we do receive something back for what we've put out into the universe. Okay. But you can also be afraid that you're not, you can be afraid of being turned down for something. You can be afraid of, you know, having a no, right? That kind of thing. Um, but the six of pentacles in the upright is a very positive card. Okay. And I think that you need to keep the hope alive. All right. Stay positive. And we've got the nine of pentacles as your overall outcome, which is success, a happy ending. Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, this is you successfully completing a journey, fulfilling um, some sort of uh, goal that you have in mind. And the nine of pentacles is um, luxury, abundance, prosperity. The nine of pentacles is also where we have enough to treat ourselves to something that we've always wanted, okay, or something, maybe something that we don't necessarily need, but something that we want. Um, we do something nice for ourselves. It's the lap of luxury kind of thing in that energy. So I feel like here you're coming out of this stagnant energy and into this wonderful prosperity um, for you, okay? For some of you, it, it's, you know, your, your prosperity and things that you're looking for is just minor, but it's got a big impact. Okay, and for others of you, you just want the world and you just have the possibility to get the world in here. Okay, so the Nine of Pentacles is a great energy success, but independent success. All right, and um, kind of like your goals are achieved here in this. So it's a great energy that's there for you guys. And it could be that, yes, you've got all this stuff in your mature world, or this could just be where you're at. You're feeling better about your future. You you're, feel like you're making all the right moves. You're making decisions and you're making the right ones. You've tamed your anxieties and your fears and you are ready for more, ready for more abundance. And if you look here, we've got the nine of pentacles here, okay, in your overall outcome. And we've got the ten of pentacles here, which is your goal. So for some of you here, you are very much on track to achieving your goals, but you might just be still one step away. So we're, that's is where we're heading into August, right? We're heading into the next month. Um, but of course, some for some of you, your energy speeds up or slows down depending on the decisions that you make or depending on what circumstances unfold for you. Very wonderful energy, okay? So let's get a couple final cards out here. You may have a little bit of luck as well. Um, the aces can bring luck, right? Um, so you might just get a lucky break somewhere. Whoa, thank you very much. All right, uh, let's get, there we go. A couple lucky breaks flying out of the deck there. Okay, you stay. All right, so what do we have? 91, surrender. Nines, completions, seeing something through to a, a finish line. Ones, initiative, new beginnings, all of that. Sometimes we need to go with the flow. Don't stand in your own way, okay? Get out of your head a little bit, okay? Uh, try not to procrastinate, see the potential of things. And sometimes when we go with the flow, this is where we allow things to happen, okay? There may be something that you need to put an end to or something that you need to give up, right? Um, you need to let go of so that you can move forward. And if you're feeling any kind of pangs of guilt, if you do have an inher inheritance coming towards you, and if you do have any feelings of guilt or anything with that, or it's like, I, I, it's, it, it, I should be happy, but I'm also kind of sad at the same time, Surrender to the energy, process the energy, okay, because yes, inheritances sometimes do feel like a little bit of a double-edged sword, and we don't want to be too happy or giddy or things like that because, you know, we might upset the apple cart somewhere along the way or upset someone else, um, you know, but we got to let that go sometimes, right, because something's meant to be. We have karmic completion, number 10, what do we say? Karma, okay, so there's something playing out for you that's meant to happen. Okay, for some of you as well here with the karmic completion, okay, remember we're letting go of this energy and we're opening the doors. So I feel like here that there's been maybe some life lesson or some journey that you've been on, closing out some sort of cycle in your life and you're done. You're done. 
the path forward is clear. So you've cleaned out that stuff. You've completed that stuff. You've finished that difficult journey or that stage of life lessons that you were supposed to complete and learn. And now you're ready to move onwards and upwards. So I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here that resonated with you on some level. If there was, please like, share, subscribe, throw a comment in the box down below. All of that lets me know you resonate with the readings, um, but it also does let the YouTube algorithm know that you like the readings and hey, you should show it to more people um, to the algorithm. So I thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful month ahead and I'll see you next time. Bye.